differential equations is the new chapter for the session. So what is a differential equation? As we know that derivative or differentiation is from which we derive the differential equations. So now that we have derived about differentiation and integration when combined together gives us the process of solving differential equations. That means in order to solve the differential equations we use both differentiation and integration. As the word itself says differential equation an equation which involves derivatives is called a differential equation. To see the more mathematical definition, let's continue with the session. Now let's see the more mathematical definition of differential equation. Differential equation is defined as an equation, an equation which involves one dependent variable and one or more independent variables is called a differential equation. That is, when we see that a differential equation should have one dependent variable or it can have one or more independent variables. So let's see with an example what is a dependent variable and an independent variable which combine to form a differential equation. Say for example, I have Now here I clearly see that this is a differential equation because y depends on x that is derivative of y with respect to x here we have y which depends on x therefore the dependent variable here is y and the independent variable here is x which is written in the form of an equation involving derivatives so this is a differential equation. A differential equation with one dependent variable and one independent variable is how we understand the basic mathematical definition of differential equation connected with derivatives. Now let's take another example where I have x dy by dx plus z d square y dy by dx whole square minus 3 z square equal to 0 3 z square x equals 0. Now this is a differential equation where I have the dependent variable which is y but there are two independent variables x and z. So in this case the dependent variable is y and the independent variables are x and z. Is how we understand the difference between dependent variables and independent variables for the given differential equation. For a differential equation, there is only one dependent variable, but it can have one or more independent variables. Only one dependent variable. Now next, let's see 
the types of differential equations. Now that we have discussed about differential equations, now let's see the types of now there are two types of differential equations through which we classify the dependent and independent variables. So the first is ordinary differential equation and the next is partial differential equation. <laughs> so for ordinary differential equation we have the condition it has only one independent variable but when we take the partial differential equation it has more than one independent variable this is how we differentiate between the ordinary differential equation and the partial differential equation one independent variable the equation is called ordinary differential equation and more than one independent variable the differential equation is called partial differential equation for example x dy by dx whole square minus e power x dy by dx equals 3 is an ordinary differential equation because we have one dependent variable y and only one independent variable x. Here x is the independent variable. <laughs> now in case of this now this is with one dependent variable z but there are two independent variables x and y so in this case it has more than one and hence it is called partial differential equation. So usually the derivatives in partial differential equation are denoted with dou by dou z or dou by dou x is called partial differential equation and d by dx of a function is denoted for ordinary differential equation. So dou by dou x for partial differential equation and d by dx for ordinary differential equation is how we understand the difference between ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation. One independent variable partial ordinary differential equation more than one independent variable partial differential equation. The next concept is degree of a differential equation. What is the degree of differential equation? So as we have discussed about the differential equation, let's see in the session about degree of a differential equation. So here we define the degree as in the integral power of the highest derivative term. This is the most simple definition which we have considered. Let us try to understand this more better through a live example. So integral power of the highest derivative term for example if I take x d cube y by d x cube minus 3 d y by d x is equal to 4 d square y by d x square 
whole power 4 by 3. <laughs> so clearly this is a differential equation with independent variable y and the dependent variable x and of course this is an ordinary differential equation involving only one independent variable x. Now let's see what is the degree of this differential equation. Now the definition which we have taken here is integral power of the highest derivative term that is I take the integer form of this that is if I take the highest derivative term is this its integral power is 1 but we don't take fractions considered the rule is that we eliminate the fractional part of other derivatives in order to delete this with fraction I cube on both sides and therefore I get this term to be x whole cube is 4 d square y by dx square whole power 4 because one third comes here as cube. So cubing on both sides I get this therefore now this is reduced to integral powers and hence the highest power of the highest derivative which is d cube y by dx cube is 3 and hence the degree of the given differential equation <laughs> is 3. So degree is 3 for the given ordinary differential equation. Let's practice some problems in finding the degree of the given differential equations. So using the definition Now this is the differential equation whose degree I need to find. So clearly I see that the degree of this differential equation is with the highest degree the highest derivative is 2 but it has the power as 3 but this is in the form of fractional root which can be squared on both sides so that this gets multiplied twice. So in order to make this an integer we multiply both sides with 2. I mean we take squaring on both sides of the equation and this gets multiplied with 2 and this becomes an integral part and therefore 6 would be the degree. So degree of such a differential equation would be 6 is how we do. But ultimately it is very important that we make each of them with non-fractional power. Let's try one more example problem. So this kind of a problem where we try to find the degree, we try to just take this to the numerator by cross multiplication, then the highest derivative is d square y by dx square. So here this is d square y by dx square, this get multiplied with this to get 3. So on cross multiplication, I get d square y by dx squared whole power 3 but again I have this non-fractional to make this an integer I multiply with 3 or cube on both sides so this gets reduced to 3 therefore in this case in order to maintain that this is an integer and this comes to the numerator I have this as 9 so the degree is 
nine for the given differential equation is how we understand the degree and order of a differential equation the order of a differential equation now as we see this problem as we see this concept of order it is nothing but derived from degree of a differential equation that is the highest the, the integral power of the highest derivative or the highest derivative of a differential equation is called order. So here the highest derivative of a differential equation is the order of the differential equation. That is for example if I take x dy by dx minus 4 dqy by dx cube is equal to 7 minus 3 e power x <laughs> so clearly I see here that this differential equation has the first derivative here, third derivative and seventh derivative. As I see, the highest derivative of this differential equation is 7 because it has the seventh degree differential part of y. Therefore, order, therefore, order of this is 7. And of course, my degree is nothing but the power of the highest order that is degree is 1 because the rest of the derivatives are all integrals not fractions therefore degree is 1 so order is 7 and degree is 1 is how we understand this now let's see another example problem through which we understand the order and degree of a differential equation more better so for example I have this equation then how do we find order and degree now as we have each of them with fractions this fraction gets eliminated through 0 because taking raising to the power 4 this becomes power 1 because 4 vanishes when multiplied with 4 on both sides now this the next task is making them as integers therefore clearly I see that order of this differential equation is 2 because this is the highest derivative and the power of this to be made an integral value I have to just multiply the two equations with 6 because when you multiply both of them with 6 it becomes an integer and this becomes an integer <coughs> and therefore the highest power of the highest derivative is 2 and therefore I get my degree is power of the order that is 2 which I get as 3 1s 3 2s and hence order is 2 and degree is 2 for the given differential equation is how we understand order and degree of a differential equation connected now that we have discussed about order and degree of a differential equation let's see the limitations which the differential equations have now the limitations of the order uh, and degree of a differential equation is that so degree of a differential equation as we have seen in the previous case is defined only if The degree of a differential equation is defined only if 
the differential equation is a polynomial differential equation. If you cannot express the differential equation in the form of polynomial differential equation, then the degree is not defined. For example, <laughs> For example, I have the differential equation x d square y by dx square minus 4 e power x dy by dx equals log dy by dx. Then we cannot find the degree of this, though the order is the highest derivative. The order of this differential equation is 2, but degree is not defined because of log. This cannot be expressed as a polynomial differential equation that is since the given differential equation cannot be expressed in polynomial equation form Therefore, degree is not defined as how we understand the degree of a differential equation is not defined because it cannot be expressed in the polynomial form. For degree to be defined, the given differential equation must be in the polynomial form. Whereas in this case, it is not in polynomial form. Hence, though order is 2 which is defined, the degree is not defined. This is how we understand the limitations of differential equations with respect to order and degree. Now let us see the nth order differential equation. So we have discussed about two types of differential equations. One is ordinary differential equation and the other is partial differential equation. So coming to the ordinary differential equation which is nth order ordinary differential equation which we are going to discuss in general form. is what we're going to discuss in its general form. So what is an nth order ordinary differential equation in general form? Let's see. Suppose I write the differential equation in the form f of x, y, dy by dx, d square y by dx square, and so on and so forth, d power n minus 1y by dx for this and d for ny. Then this is called the ordinary differential equation of order n, which is this. If suppose I take dy by dx as y dash or y power 1 is what we denote for this and d square y by dx square is denoted by this and so on and so forth where d power n y by dx power n is denoted in this form then this reduces to f of x y y dash y second derivative y nth derivative is equal is how we define the nth order ordinary differential equation consisting of x, y, y dash, y double dash and nth 
derivative of y equals 0. So order n. This is the general form of representing the nth or the ordinary differential equation f of x, y, y dash, y double dash, so on so forth till nth derivative of y equal to 0. Now next, let's see how a differential equation where the solution set of the differential equation represents the family of curves. Solution set of differential equations, which is represented as family of curves. So let's see how the solution set of differential equations represents the family of curves. For example, I take y equals mx, then the corresponding differential equation of this is obtained by taking, differentiating on both sides. With respect to x, we get dy by dx is m times of d by dx of x, which is m. So dy by dx is m. which I'm going to substitute in 1. So substituting in 1, I get y equals m, which is dy by dx of x is what we get. So this is the differential equation which I have obtained for the 1, that is, 2 is the differential equation of 1, that is the original function y is equal to mx or original equation of curve y equal to mx and not only that, 2, the solution set of 2 of this equation 2 represents the family of straight lines because the solution set is y equal to mx and it's a straight line passing through origin represents the family of straight lines passing through origin is how we understand the solution set of differential equation connected with the differential equation itself with the example problem y equal to mx when I differentiate on both sides with respect to x I get the differential equation y equals dy by dx times x which is called the differential equation of the corresponding equation 1 and therefore the solution set of 2 represents the family of straight lines passing through origin. The solution of this is this, which clearly is a set of all lines passing through origin in the form all the lines passing through origin, etc. So we have all the set of lines passing through the origin, the family of curves connected with the solution set of differential equation. Now next is about forming a differential equation. So let's see how a differential equation is formed from the general equation given out there. So the topic is about forming of a differential equation. So this process generally involves elimination of the arbitrary constants. That is, the forming of a differential equation is solely dependent on eliminating the 
the arbitrary constants is how we understand the connection of forming of a differential equation to that of eliminating the arbitrary constants. So let's see how we can just solve this. Say for example, I have an equation y equals ax plus b. Now this differential equation has two arbitrary constants or let me take ax square plus bx plus c. So this differential equation has three arbitrary constants ax square, ab and c. So here a, b, c are the arbitrary constants. So our target now is to eliminate a, b, c, the arbitrary constants of the equation. So in order to do that, initially I differentiate both sides of the equation, which I represent with 1. So let me take this as equation 1 and differentiating 1 with respect to x, I get dy by dx equals 2 times of ax plus b because d by dx of x square is 2x and d by dx of x is 1 and d by dx of a constant is 0. Therefore, I don't have c which is totally eliminated. Now, this is equation 2 which I have obtained. But now, again, I differentiate 2 with respect to x. I differentiate this equation and see what would be the next differential equation I obtain with respect to x. Differentiating 2 with respect to x, I get this as d by dx of dy by dx equals d by dx of 2ax, which is 2a, and d by dx of b, which is 0, because it's a constant. d by dx of x is 1, so I get this. And therefore, this would be d square y by dx square equals 2a because d by dx of dy by dx is d square y by dx square that is the second derivative which we generally do not with y part 2 is equal to 2a and this is equation 3. Now next I would like to find the value of a from this equation that is that implies a is second derivative of this by 2, which I substitute in equation 2. Substituting in 2, we get dy by dx equals 2a, that is this of x plus b, is what we get when we simplify. So here we get a differential equation in the form d square y by dx square times of x minus dy by dx plus b equal to 0 where b the arbitrary constant b cannot be eliminated for this particular quadratic function and hence we get, we get the answer in the form x d square y by dx square minus dy by dx plus b equal to 0 is the corresponding differential equation for the given equation y equals this. Now let us see another differential equation where we can eliminate all the arbitrary constants. Say for example, I have the question which says form a differential equation for y equals a cos 3x plus b sin 3x where here a and b are the arbitrary constants which need to be eliminated for forming a differential equation. 
So in this, I have the differential equation this, which I take as equation 1. So y equals a cos 3x plus b sine 3x is equation 1. Now I differentiate both sides of equation 1 with respect to x. So differentiating 1 with respect to x, we get dy by dx equals a times of d by dx of cos 3x is minus 3 sine 3x using the chain rule. And this comes out as b times of 3 cos 3x again using the chain rule. Now this gives us dy by dx equals 3 times of minus a sin 3x plus b cos 3x is what we get when we differentiate on both sides. Now let me take this as equation 2. Now next it is now that we are going to differentiate this and see what happens in the second differentiation. So in the similar process as I differentiated 1 with respect to x, I am going to differentiate equation 2 with respect to x. Differentiating 2 with respect to x, we get d by dx of dy by dx, that is d square y by dx square is 3 times of minus 3a cos 3x and this in the chain rule gives me minus 3b sine 3x is what we get. That implies d square y by dx square on taken common gives us minus 9 times a cos 3x plus b sine 3x. Now a cos 3x plus b sine 3x is y which I am going to substitute in terms of 1. Therefore this is minus 9y since from equation 1 is substituted with y out here in the right hand side. Therefore we get an equation which is d square y by dx square and plus 9y equal to 0 which is nothing but it's an ordinary differential equation it's an ordinary differential equation of order 2 or it is called the second order differential equation of the corresponding differential equation for the corresponding curve y equals a cos 3x plus b sin 3x. So every function or a curve is associated with its corresponding differential equation and clearly it is very important to identify that in this curve which has two arbitrary constants then the order of the differential equation will be 2. If the number of arbitrary constants is n then that differential equation will have order n. So the order of a differential equation is associated with the number of arbitrary constants in the curve. So therefore, in order to eliminate two arbitrary constants, I differentiate the equation twice. In order to eliminate three arbitrary constants, I differentiate the equation thrice, etc. So ordinary differential equation of order 2 for the equation y equals a cos 3x plus b sin 3x is d square y by dx square plus 9y equals 0. Let's see the learning outcome in forming of a differential equation. Now, as we have seen that if there are n arbitrary constants,
implies nth order differential equation is how we understand the connection between the number of constants of the given family of curves and the order of the differential equation. So n arbitrary constants implies nth order differential equation is the learning outcome of this. And the second learning outcome is that every equation or every curve has its corresponding differential equation. Every curve has the corresponding differential equation is how we come out with the next learning outcome. So the two learning outcomes for the case of forming of a differential equation is that one, n arbitrary constants implies the order of differential equation is the number of arbitrary constants that is nth order differential equation and every curve or any equation has the corresponding differential equation which is obtained by eliminating its respective constants. Next is the solution of differential equation. Now that we have discussed about differential equation, now comes the biggest question and how do we get the solution or how do we solve the differential equation. So the topic is about solution of a differential equation. Now what do we mean, mean by solution of a differential equation? In general, we know that a differential equation is an equation which involves one dependent variable and one or more independent variables. So the value of that dependent variable is nothing but which satisfies the given differential equation is called solution of a differential equation. So the definition says the value of the dependent variable which satisfies the given differential equation is called the solution of that differential equation. So the value of that depend dependent variable which satisfies the given differential equation is called solution of that differential equation is how we understand the solution of given differential equation. Now there are two types of solutions for the solution of a differential equation. So let's see the two types of solutions. Every solution of a differential equation is said to have two types. One is the general solution And then it is the particular solution. So in these two types, let's see how we define each of them. General solution is a solution in which the number of arbitrary constants is equal to order of the differential equation. Then in this case, we get the solution in which the number of arbitrary constants is equal to order of the differential equation is said to be the general solution. Now particular solution is
the particular values which the arbitrary constants the particular values for which the arbitrary constitution constants are substituted are substituted with in given in the general solution is called the particular solution. So these are the two types of solutions which we are going to discuss exclusively through an example problem. The solution of a differential equation is classified into two types. One is the general solution and the other is the particular solution. As we have seen with the solutions of differential equation classified into two types as general solution and particular solution, let us see some related problems. So in this case of, for example, as we have taken in the previous case, that this differential equation of order 2 had the general solution as we have already solved as y equals a cos 3x plus b sin 3x. This formed into by eliminating the constants a and b the respective differential equation was this therefore this is called the general solution for the given differential equation now let's see how a particular solution is obtained let the arbitrary constant be fixed as some a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 that implies we get y equals cos 3x plus sin 3x which is called the particular solution of the given differential equation that means we give the particular values for the arbitrary constants fixed at a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 say for this example problem then the general solution that substituted with arbitrary constants reduces to y equals cos 3x plus sin 3x. So for the differential equation d square y by dx square plus 9y equals 0 the general solution is y equals a cos 3x plus b sin 3x and the particular solution is cos 3x plus sin 3x. Next is the learning outcome. So what is the learning outcome from from the two types of solutions which we have seen? The learning outcome is that if I take the general solution represents family of curves and this particular solution represents fixed curve and the general solution has arbitrary constants involved involves arbitrary constants and this does not involve arbitrary constants. 
So the learning outcome for general solution is that it always represents family of curves and it involves arbitrary constants and particular solution is a particular or a fixed curve and it does not involve arbitrary constants. General solution and particular solution have their own respective definitions. This is how I understand the learning outcome. Now let's discuss solution or solving of a differential equation. In this case we take exclusively first order and first degree differential equation. So we know that a first order first degree differential equation is generally represented in the form dy by dx is equal to f of xy where y is dependent variable and x is an independent variable. So this is of order 1 and degree 1 and y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable as how we differentiate between this and this. So the reason we have considered the first order and first degree differential equation is that we want to discuss the solution of the differential equation of first order and first degree of higher orders is beyond the syllabus but the present syllabus of the session deals with first order and first degree differential equations and its respective solutions.